Yesterday, as you have seen, ESPN.com put out its list of the top 10 NBA players of all time, and here they are. Michael, LeBron, Kareem, Russell, Magic, it's the One Names Club, Wilt, Larry, Duncan, Kobe, and Shaq. That was their top 10. It, of course, invites everyone to debate with their top 10 and whatever it is they want to pick out about it. We've been waiting all morning to say good morning. Jalen Rose and Stephen A. Smith. Steve is 18 minutes away from first take. So, Jalen, I'm going to give you the first crack at this. What is the one thing on the list you most want to address? How LeBron James leapfrogged to number two. When you start talking about all-time greatness, you start splitting hairs amongst these great players. And I'm going to name four guys on my Mount Rushmore that have achieved more, accomplished more than LeBron James, that have been more dominant. Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell. All of those guys have things that LeBron James hopes to achieve. And then finally, I know he has a chance to win a championship with the Lakers, and if he does so, he will surpass this guy. But when did LeBron pass Magic Johnson? Am I missing something? I know he made nine finals in 17 years. Magic made nine in 12 years. I know LeBron has three championships. Magic has five. Magic is the NBA's all-time leader in assists. And he was a freak of nature as the only six nine point guard in the history of basketball. Oh yeah, the greatest to ever play that position, Irvin Magic Johnson. So those are the things that jumped out to me, Greeny, when I saw this list. So it's interesting because Stephen A, as we look at Jalen's list there, but let me come to you, Steve, on that topic. Because I had Kendrick Perkins earlier this morning, and the argument he wanted to make was that he believes LeBron should be number one. Jalen is moving him down further. Where do you stand? I stand with LeBron James as number two, just his versatility, what he does over the course, what he's done over the course of, uh, of 17 years, playing 82 games, not all 82 games, of course, but to carry the load that he has carried to be the facilitator that he is, to be a career 27 point per game scorer, to go to nine NBA finals in this era, although he lost six and won three. And I'm thinking about his all around versatility as a player. I'm not denying what Jalen is pointing to in terms of points, in terms of production, in terms of championships on the part of a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, 11 championships in 13 years. We get all of that. But I'm not just looking at championships, obviously. I'm looking at all-around ability. I think when you look at Magic Johnson, as phenomenal and great as he was, and the orchestrator of Showtime, the greatest show as far as I'm concerned that we have ever seen in the history of basketball, the reality is, is that as an individual talent, Magic Johnson didn't compare to LeBron James in terms of individual talent. But, Jalen, I want to say this to you because I want to give you an opportunity uh, to just crash and crush my world. I'm about to say something on Get Up that is blasphemous, that is sacrilegious, but I just want to pose this question. Since we are going by championships, Jalen Rose, why is Wilt Chamberlain on this list? He played in the same era. He's a career 30-point-per-game scorer on 54% shooting. He's the most dominant force most people have ever seen in their lifetime. He was clearly conceived, perceived as the most dominant force before Shaq and even uh, ahead of Shaq in some people's eyes, obviously. But I ask a sincere question. When Bill Russell was winning all of those championships, wasn't it supposed to be Wilt Chamberlain that was standing in his way? And if Wilt Chamberlain, with Jerry West and others as teammates, still forfeited all of those championships to Bill Russell, why should Wilt Chamberlain be in our top ten? Damn. It's just a question. I know it's blasphemous, but I'm asking. It's definitely blasphemous, and I don't go only by championships. If that's the case, then Bill Russell okay. would be number one. I go by a couple of things. One. Number one, more spectacular. That's just an eye test. To me, that's Michael Jordan. The second thing is more dominant. On defense, nobody in the history of the game is more dominant than Bill Russell. And then when you talk about achievement, no players have achieved more than Kareem, Russell, and then my next guy, Magic. And then I'm going to get to your question now. Mm -hmm. Wilt Chamberlain sure. is the most dominant force that the game has seen. I know a I lot agree. of young fans feel that that's Shaquille O'Neal, but Wilt Chamberlain averaged 50 points and 25 rebounds in a season. And you know what else mm -hmm. he did in the season, Stephen mm -hmm. A? 
led the league in assists. He was going up against one of the greatest dynasties in the history and came up short with well, Jerry West on his squad is true. I want to emphasize before we get off the air, Greeny and Jalen, is that Jalen's absolutely right. I agree with you. But the reason why I pose that question is because on too many occasions when we're judging the modern day player against them is what they did or did not, or actually what they didn't do in big moments, particularly compared to great talent. So as in, in other words, there's a Hall of Fame, but there's certain rooms and certain floors that people belong on compared to others. We've done stuff like that, but we've never done it with Wilt Chamberlain, who religiously lost to Bill Russell. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.